Hollywood loves lovable sports looters, losers. The Bad News Bears, Dodgeball, that stupid robot boxing movie with Wolverine in it. And while there may not be a room for a Tinseltown in Tinseltown for St. Joseph's men's beer league softball team, their story is definitely worth two minutes of your time. Tyler, go! difficult to identify. We didn't play sports growing up, a lot of us. They don't own shiny bats, just cigarettes. No uniforms, just costumes. It's a bunch of guys who were, you know, video and theater majors in college. Meet the NWO, quite possibly the worst softball team on planet Earth. Whoa. Never thought winning a softball game in the D-League would, uh, would be so difficult. Football, play some football. Way back in 2003, when St. Joseph's Heritage Park was a brand new facility, this group was just debuting its softball futility. Thought it'd be fun. Bring it! You just brought it! Team founders Josh Hall and I'm on that. Tyler Ingram didn't set out to win championships, but they did think they'd win a few games. They thought wrong. Instead, they built a decade-long dynasty of non-dominance. Scoot back a bit. He's got three-strike warm-up pants. While they talked a good game, every season came and went without a single win. Neither of us had any idea that it was so incredibly hard to win a softball game. By 2012, their record, a legendary 0-65. The only time that it's been frustrating is when you've got someone that's like, well, you guys aren't even trying out there. No, we're trying. Honestly, we never thought it would happen. Well, it happened on July 8th when this group of non-softball players won their first softball game in a decade. Their first softball game in existence. I didn't know what to do. Completely baffled that we actually had been so long that we wanted you know, to take to win a game. Just joy <laughs> and, and relief. But the fact it did happen has a deeper meaning for Hall. Yes! It meant fulfilling a promise to his late sister Molly, who served as the team's first coach. Several years back, on her deathbed, my sister told me, um, if you guys could, try to get around to winning a softball game because I don't think that I'm going to beat this cancer. And a couple days later, she was dead. And it took us about seven years to win that game, but some things are worth the wait. It was worth every single minute. It was never frustrating. It's always been fun. Next week, 2 and 65. Two and yeah! Those guys, obviously a lot of fun. Their record now 1 and 67 overall, so they'll try for another win next year. Oh, that's fun to see, though. I mean, they're having fun. They are, and that's the point of it. And yeah. it's a really cool deal. So I want to know about this team that they beat. <laughs> <laughs> well, we kind of left them out just to protect the innocent okay. and okay. not embarrass anybody. That's why we didn't mention it. Gotcha. They're wrapping up now. All right. Well, thank you, Ryan. Stay with us. We'll be right back.